Hey, what's up everybody? This is Phil with IP Touch and today we will be going over Facebook banners. Um we're not I'm not going to show you exactly how to do this specific banner right here, but I'm going to show you how to set up the file in Illustrator CS5. And let me tell you, this is the best way of doing it if you're doing it inside of Illustrator. I find Illustrator being the easiest way of doing it. Um but I love the program. So uh without further ado, here we go. All right, so let's go ahead and get started on this. Um, right now, what we have is our standard 800 by 600 pixel artboard. Um, you know, you just go to File New, uh, and right now, what we'll do just Web and click OK, because um, we're, we're gonna we're gonna change the size of that right about now. Um, so what what we're going to do is we're gonna go down here to our artboard tool. And we're gonna click it, or you can go Shift O, and it brings us to our board. Um, now, those the original images are 98 pixels by 68 pixels, um, but that's kind of small to be working in. So we're actually going to scale it up a bit and then shrink it down when we save it to to save as the pictures to import as our um, our Facebook banner. Now the banner itself actually only works right now on personal pages it does not work on fan pages because the pictures on fan pages rotate um and so it's it doesn't really it, it doesn't work for fan pages um a fan pages are, are the ones where you where you can you know select to like it or you know whatever and personal ones are the ones where you add as friends so that's the difference between a personal page i mean there's there's a lot of there's a lot more differences between the two but fan pages you like and personal page you add as friends. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and uh, let's let's resize our artboard. Um, like I said, the original is 800 or 98 by uh, 68. Oops, 98 by 68. But as you can see, that's rather small. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to times that by five. So click star five. And that makes it 490 over here as well. Star five, and that makes that 340. And that's that's a pretty decent size to be working with as far as each individual picture is concerned. And like I said, we will be resizing that, shrinking it down 20%, which is 100% divided into fives is 20%. Well, we'll get to that when we get to that. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to create five different artboards. I've seen a lot of people do it with guides and trying to do the math and all that other nonsense. I'm I'm simply just going to break this down for you right here right now. Um and for me, this was the smartest way of doing it um that I figured out um besides having to make a bunch of squares and then clip math or uh yeah, masking, masking it out, or clip masks, and all. Yeah, it's 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 nonsense. This is probably the best way of doing it. Um, to me, I use Illust Illustrator a lot, so yeah. Okay, so what we're going to do is hold down Alt to duplicate, and so we're going to hold down Alt and Shift and drag this over to make another copy of it. We're going to line it up directly on the edge. Um, if it's not on the edge, you will begin to see another line there. So let's go ahead and move it up. See like. If it's not over there, then you can see that line. You want to get it directly right there on that edge. And then we're going to use the arrow key to dab it over five times to the right to separate it. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, and zoom out. Also, you know what we're going to do is we're going to go into expert mode, which is the F key. So if you press the F key twice, you end up here. And if you want to get back, press the F key again, and you go back to having your windows. So you want to hide your windows, press F twice and all your windows are gone and you can work like that so once again hold down alt shift and click drag to the right and line it directly up on the edge of that last artboard that you just created then we're going to click it to the right five pixels one two three four five um, for me I, I I believe it's standard for the arrows to be one pixel in movement every time um, but if not then you just go into your property settings and change that one two three four five that's artboard number four artboard number five on the edge make sure it's on the edge it's on the edge and then over five more times one two three four five okay now that we got our five artboards because there's five pictures that can make up the banner and that's five five artboards one two three four five um now also i'm a graphic designer and uh... 
I I like to have a complete image of the banner as well. So what I do is I go ahead and I make a sixth artboard. I drag it down. Well, actually, it's not going to matter because we're just going to realign it right now. Um, we're going to have to bring up that. And we're going to resize that to the whole size. And the whole thing is sized at uh, 2470. That's 2470 pixels. Press enter and it resizes it to the same height as the actual picture, which is 340. So it's the same height and it's the same width as it entirely. So that's with the spaces and everything else in between. Um, you just want to line that up. Uh, it's lined up. You're good. Good. Ready to go. Um, now these spaces here, this space right here, is actually going to be in between each picture on the banner when you when you upload it to your Facebook. And what that does is is it separates it because it's different pictures and it puts that space in between it and it makes it look like it's actually sitting there with spaces in between it instead of lining it up differently and it looks all off kilter <laughs> all right so anyways I press V to get my my black arrow my selection tool or you can just click it whatever makes you happy and right now we have it set up um, we have one two three four five six different artboards um, what we're going to do is we're going to rename them uh, the top one will be artboard dash one enter and then to change it you click it and you click it again and then that comes up you just want to go artboard dash two and so on until you get to five uh... right now mine say whole because i usually have the last one the one that's going to be the whole picture as whole um, i have that one named whole and since i was going through this tutorial right now again uh, just to make sure that it didn't forget anything for you guys um, i forgot to rename it so yeah that's why mine says holes you should just say artboard you know one copy number one copy two stuff like that uh, that's five and then artboard number six is the whole one so we're gonna go dash hole and that way I just know which one's which you know artboard one is the first picture second third fourth fifth and then the sixth one is the whole picture okay so now that we got that down what we're going to do is we're going to create our background which is actually fairly simple I usually have a background on all of them because just having it straight white is kind of boring um, we'll line that up now what we're going to do oh I also use gradients a lot um, alright so let's see um, we're gonna make this size the same size as the other one or the whole picture but we're going to make it two pixels bigger so that's in, instead of it being four or two thousand four hundred and seventy it's gonna be four two thousand four hundred and seventy two that's one picture pixel on each side and same here three forty two instead of three forty even and then that way we just it over it goes over the edges. I mean, you can definitely just make it bigger if you want, if you don't really feel comfortable with that. Um, you can just definitely just make it absolutely bigger than the actual artboards themselves, just to ensure the fact that there's edges and it sits well. But I also like to add a border, so I'm I'm gonna just leave it at that. Maybe move it over, and it's set. There we go. Um, that's just how I do it. And then I add a border with the pixel, and then I just realign that stroke to the inside and now my picture will have a border of five pixels to the inside okay so now that that's set and all that's done um, I, I actually don't like to design with the artboard showing so if you hold control shift and press the H key it hides the, uh, the artboards you see that Let's, let me see if I can zoom in and show that again control shift H hides the artboards do it again and there you go okay so let's say we spend a good uh... let's go ahead and bring back the windows let's say we, we spend a good hour hour and a half designing one right we're done uh... let's pop this up let's bring this to the top and let's oh. let's say we are officially complete as far as our um... 
banners for our Facebook page is concerned. Okay, so we'll go ahead and bring back the artboards just to see where it all lines up at. This is five. Let's go ahead and move this over to the center of it. Um, you know what I'll do? I'm gonna just make it bigger, just so you guys can see pictures by pictures. Okay, so the I N C is in one, the O N S I, and part of the S is in two. T N T, part of the P is in three. The rest of the P, the I C T, half of the U, yada yada yada, blah 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 blah. Don't wanna bore you. You see how it's set up. Now what we're going to do is we select every artboard that we want to um, save save out. So we're going to save it out in order. Um, also, if you if you double click that artboard, then it kind of brings it up to full screen, and you can kind of work in it like that. Um, however, however you need to. Anyways, so what we're going to do is now that we have artboard one selected, we're going to go con Control Shift Alt S to save for web. Or you can just go over here to control or file, save for web and devices, Alt Shift Control S. And this part is actually pretty tricky. We we can actually still see part of the the white up there, but no big deal. I'm not going to save this out and use it, so it's not that big of a deal. But you you definitely want to go back and fix that if you're seeing that. Um, and what we're going to do is make sure it's it's clipped to artboard. Um, if it's not and you apply it, then it shows the whole thing and everything else around it. So if you have text, because what I tend to do is I'll have stuff down here, you know, laying on the on the side that I'm using and stuff like that, and uh, it shows up. So you always want to make sure that clip to artboard is, is selected and apply. Now, we want it to be 98 by 68. You can either go here, type in 98, and it brings up the other 68 because that's 20% of 100 because we, we scaled it up by 5. And you go and apply, and then you save it out. And we'll just go uh, Untitled 2, I guess. And we save it out. And then you want to select the second artboard. Control Shift Alt S. And then just repeat. Make sure it's selected. And here you can just go 20%. Apply. Save out. Untitled. We're going to go 3. Um, usually I just go Facebook banner, dash, and then I'll put in uh, initials. So, um, but since. I'm using untitled. I'm gonna go three, and then whatever I mean. However you feel like uh, naming it is strictly up to you. Um, all right, and so we'll just continue to go on. I'm gonna do this as fast as I can, so I don't have to edit that part out. Twenty percent, apply, save. That's three, so this would be four. Uh, select artboard four. S. Twenty percent. Save, Entitled 5, enter the fifth picture, I save for web and devices, 20%. Um, now, now like, like I was saying, you can definitely make it, not, it doesn't even have to be uh, five, five times bigger, it can be uh, two times, you know, two times bigger, twice as big, um, you know, ten times. It, it really depends. I just use 20 just because I can. Uh, and that's 6. And then the hole. Just that. Now here, it's actually not 20%. It's going to only be 50%. Um, that number. 100%. That's fine. Apply. Uh, wow. That was great. 100. Um, for me, 2,000. 470 pixels wide it was just it's absurd it's it doesn't need to be that much I mean you can just do 20 and uh, <laughs> oh, I keep doing that you can just do 20 percent and you know make it that big but you want it to be you know legible and actually be able to be seen so I just use 50 and apply and then you get a nice size and save and then you want to go untitled and you just write whole so you know it's the whole thing and now you're set and we go make that smaller. Here goes the one I actually have on my personal page, which uh, was actually done in uh, Illustrator. That's not Photoshop. The texture, everything, all that's all that's Illustrator, which I'm actually pretty proud of. Okay, so right here you can see all of the actual pictures. One, two, three, four. Oh, maybe I didn't resize it. Okay, yes, I didn't resize those. Sorry about that. So. Go and resize those. Well, you get you 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 pretty much get the idea of what I was headed for, 
and then you just upload those and then when you go and you start to tag people you want to tag it starting from five so five will be the first one you tag them in and then four three two and then one or if you want to tag them in the whole one too you want to use the whole first so it'd be six and then you go five four three two one and you tag them in there and then when you go to their profile um it shows well thank you for viewing i'm phil um oh also a uh, subscribe rate comment um once again check out my facebook fan page there's actually two there's another one um uh, the inconsistent picture one uh which the link is i have no idea what the actual link is um cuz i still got to get like 25 links or 25 likes in order to get my my url set up so like that i'm going to put a link in both of these to both of these in the description of this video. Thank you for watching. Sorry for babbling so much at the end. And have a splendid, splendid day. Did I just say splendid? I guess I did.